is happening guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys some Madden 16 Ultimate Team content. I know, it's been a little while since I've been able to actually upload any fun stuff from Madden. Trust me, I'm as frustrated about it as you guys are and I hope you guys have stuck with me and understand that it wasn't my choice to not be able to upload Madden 16 content. I did not have the game until about Monday at about what, 6 o'clock p.m. or so? So uh, I did get it a little bit early, a couple hours early, but you know, obviously I had to download it and get through all that kind of stuff, do an update for it before I was able to play it. So when it came down to it, I had the game about four hours early, which I'm not complaining about, trust me. It's just, it's a little bit frustrating from, from a standpoint of I wanted to play the game earlier than that and I just did not have the ability to do so. But man, I am super excited to finally be on Madden 16 and I hope you guys are as well. I hope you guys are already having a lot of fun playing this. I know the aggressive catching is going to be a little tough to stop this year, but I promise you guys, eventually we will figure out a way to stop that aggressive catching. I haven't figured it out yet, but somebody's going to come along with a way to stop that aggressive catching. I promise. All right, so what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to open up some packs, okay? So I actually, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed if you went into the game or not, but you actually can buy a two-for-one pro pack to kind of get your team kick-started. And I would maybe recommend doing that right off the bat if you're going to actually put money into this game. I do have some points up there in the top right-hand corner of your screen. You guys can see that I've done some solo challenges already. I haven't bought any packs yet. I, I literally have not opened up any what well, I've opened up the ones that you get for like a couple little solo challenges and stuff like that but I haven't opened up any as far as just like going out there and paying the coins for a pro pack I haven't put any money into it yet but today we are gonna be opening up a full 40 pack bundle for you guys gonna be doing the full Monty the whole thing in today's video so I hope you guys will enjoy it we're gonna go check out the store today we're gonna go look at the first of all I want to point out I really do like the card art that they have on these bundles by now uh, these are the even just the packs. They look really really nice that picture of Odell Beckham jr Is pretty damn beast Wish I could afford this the 60 pack bundle, but we're gonna start off with the 40 pack bundle I'm not for certain that all this good that all the good stuff is in the game already uh, I've heard that they're gonna be like some mystery packages or something like that that get that get introduced at some point I have no idea when that will be I have no idea uh, if it's already in the game or or what I have no idea but we're gonna try and open up and see if we can pull anything epic because I've seen quite a few pull people pulling some really awesome elites some people have been pulling like Rod Woodson's and I heard somebody say that they pull some Steve Atwaters man so wish me some luck here dude I am I am uh, really excited to pull my first bundle here on Madden 16 ultimate team and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it as much as I am hopefully our luck is gonna be better this year than it was last year because there were some bad bad times last year man all right, let's see what we can do here. 40 packs. We're not going to waste much time, man. We're going to click through these things pretty quick, hopefully, here. Um, and we get our first gold, and that is uh, Sel... I don't even know how to, to pronounce his name. Silver Saliga. Uh, all right, let's continue on. Uh, Chip Kelly. Not much here. Trash, trash. And we don't really get anything in this first pack, so... Not really much of anything here. We do get a defensive tackle that's worth a little bit, but not really much. Continuing on. And Ramsey's Barden. By the way, Ramsey's Barden one time, I remember, just destroyed me on a face catch. Michael Strait Strahan Teeth here. Bradley Roby. I think I already have that Bradley Roby. So that's not a great pull for my team, but still decent. All right, so nothing so far. And there are still sets, just like there were last year with, like, the coaches and all that kind of stuff. Dakota Watson... Come on, give me something good here. Hakeem Hicks, nothing. William Campbell. I've heard people saying that they were able to pull multiple golds in individual pro packs as well, so hopefully we can do something like that. I've also heard people pull multiple elites in one pro pack, so that's what I'm really striving for, man. If we could do that, that would be amazing. This guy looks exactly like Alex Smith, by the way. McLeod Bethel Thompson. Interesting. All right. Oh, we get a Super Bowl patch. All right, cool. So these things actually, I think, are fairly rare. Uh, you can add them to the Super Bowl set, and I think somebody said, I'm trying to remember all the stuff here, but I believe that you get a Steve Young, like a 99 overall epic-ass Steve Young if you get all of these collected. So that would be a pretty nice card. I'm probably going to end up selling this, though. I think these things are going for, you know, roughly 10K or so. So that's a, our first real decent pull so far. And we get uh, Dave Osbury. Damn it. Nothing really. 
Um, I don't really have a good tight end yet, though, so he might actually be my best tight end that I have, to be honest with you. Let me just compare him real quickly here. I know I'm, I, I, you guys are probably like, why are you comparing him to... Oh, okay, so I do have Droll Dreesen. Okay, I didn't realize that David Osbury was 89 speed, so he is definitely going to be my starting tight end. 6 foot 4, 89 speed. We're, we're in good shape with that. We're definitely going to go with him as our starting tight end, I think. So let's promote him right now to starting tight end. So, hey, we got our first starting player for our team. Not too bad. All right. Let's continue on here, guys. Not really getting a whole lot yet. We got that Super Bowl patch, though, so I can't complain too much. Morris Claiborne. Man, if Morris Claiborne doesn't step up this year for the Cowboys, then I swear that's going to be frustrating. Lambeau Field. All right, and we get our first elite, and it is Julio Jones, a freaking face catch monster. Let's go, baby. Woo! Our first awesome elite, Julio freaking Jones, dude. Let's take a look at some of these attributes here. I think that they, yeah, they still got the, the big uh, list here of things that you can look at. 92 catching. First of all, we know he's six foot three, so uh, he's going to be nice for face catching. He's not quite as great as like the the Mike Evans or the Kelvin Benjamin or or Calvin Johnson. That's six foot five, but this guy will be able to do work for me. I'm very excited to have this card. 92 catching. Yes, this is nice. 92 jumping. I don't know what he's going for right now. I have no idea. I haven't really looked on the auction block much, but I have to imagine that he is one of the more expensive receivers in the game right now. Great speed, great height, great catching. All of this stuff looks pretty darn good to me. The 93 spec catch looking good as well. Feeling good about that pull, man. That's awesome. That is a really great pull. I'm very excited about that, guys. Hit that like button if you like that Julio Jones. Let's go, baby. Let's open up this next pack. Come on. Rex Ryan D. And a linebacker, nothing. There's a lot of really low overall bronzes this year. 54 overall. All right, we get our gold here, and it is Josh Wilson. Not sure if he's going to be startable on my team. Let me take a quick look here. Like I said, I think I've already got Bradley Roby. So he might start opposite of him, or yeah. He'd probably be behind Justin Gilbert. Yeah, he's definitely going to be behind Justin Gilbert because of the height and the speed difference. And I run a lot of zone coverage, so I'm definitely going with Justin Gilbert. I don't even know why... Why the hell does Josh Wilson a 75 and Justin Gilbert a 75? Look at these attributes. It's not even remotely close in most of these things. He's one better for acceleration and he has better play recognition. Other than that, like, where? What? I don't know. Maybe awareness or something like that. Let's see here. 80 awareness. Yeah, 80 awareness and 66 awareness. There it is. So, uh, yeah, he'll probably start on my team as maybe like the nickel corner or something like that. But we'll see. Definitely Justin Gilbert's kind of uh, kind of a low-key beast with that low awareness. I don't know how much awareness matters yet in this game. We'll have to kind of take a look at that and, and see based on how the players are performing if it really matters much. Jack Doyle at tight end. Eh, not much there. Gus Bradley. All right, let's continue on. We got a lot of packs to open here, guys. Jeff Schwartz. So we get a right guard upgrade. That's not too bad. We get another gold. So Tyson Claybo. So there you go. We get two golds in one pack. Um, so there is your, your two golds in one pack, something that you really couldn't do in, in Madden 15. So that's nice. Liking that we're getting a couple decent pulls here. And I know 73 overall, I'll be complaining about this two months from now, but for right now, this is a, this is a decent bundle. I think we're, we're getting some upgrades for our team anyway. And we get Doug Baldwin. Okay. So we have a, com we have another player to play opposite of Julio Jones. I don't really think I have anything at all at wide receiver um, aside from Julio Jones and now Doug Baldwin. Yeah, I had uh, Jeremy Ross was my best wide receiver. He is six foot tall with a little bit better speed, but those catching attributes, just 71 catching traffic. We can't do much with that, man. And 75 catching, that's, that's not very good. So Doug Baldwin's definitely going to get moved up to being a starting wide receiver, so that's good. Kel Thompson. Let's see here. And we get, okay, Anthony Hitchens. Okay, not too bad. Let's see what we can, what he's got here for attributes. 81 speed. Yeah, so he's definitely an upgrade from the garbage that I currently have at left outside linebacker. He's really not anything special, but uh, definitely still a decent pull. All right. Feeling good about that. Back-to-back -back two gold pack pros. Um, or two gold pros packs, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's see here what we get in this one. Give me something. Another elite. There we go. Tyron Smith. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Tyron Smith. Yes, Dallas Cowboys left tackle Tyron Smith. He is absolutely going to be promoted to starter without question. 
Let's see what let's see what those attributes look like. He was a low key beast last year too, a little bit low on the awareness. Um, but man, those pass pass blocking and run blocking attributes. There you go, 91 and 93. That's what I'm talking about. That's all we care about. Beastly, gotta love Tyron Smith. He actually has decent speed too and acceleration for a, a left tackle. 86 strength. Nice. That is a great pull, man. We got two elites already. I've, I've seen a lot of people talking about that they're pulling bundles and not pulling any elites. So we've already got two, and we got a Super Bowl patch. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. I'm feeling pretty darn good about that. Let's continue to move on here. We're not going to... I don't think we're going to get anywhere close to filling up our, our binder. Uh, yeah, we've only got 199 items, so we're not even going to be close. Hopefully, we can get some more good stuff. Another elite! Dante Whitner! Three elites! Let's go, baby. Let's go. That is awesome. We are really getting some good luck to start off, man. I know a lot of people, like I said, we're not pulling very many elites. I'm feeling very, very good about pulling three elites already. I mean, I might be speaking too soon. We might be going through the rest of the packs and not pull any elites, but this is, this is nice right now, man. Feeling very, very good about that. How do you guys like those new Cleveland Browns uniforms, by the way? I'm not sure. I, I like the jersey. I'm not sure that I like the pants. Not sure I like the pants. So, yeah, he is definitely a huge upgrade for us. That's going to be nice for our defense. We're, we're getting some big upgrades for our team. We're going to be moving way on up. Right now, we're at a 71. Actually, we we're at like a 70 before we started this pack opening. So, hopefully, we can uh, move up from there. Man, this is great. I'm feeling, feeling really happy about that. Let's promote him quick to starter. Elites on elites right now, man. Let's go. Give me some more. Gary Williams. Alex Smith. Ah. Come on. I already have Jay Cutler as my quarterback, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to compare him real quick here. I don't think he's going to beat Jay Cutler because he doesn't have the, the arm strength. Yeah, 98 throw power for Cutler. The accuracy is definitely better for Alex Smith, and he's slightly faster. Um, but yeah, I got to go with Cutler. I got to go with Cutler for my team. Got to try and bomb it deep, you know, especially now that we got Julio. We're going to be bombing it. We're going to be hucking and chucking, man. It's going to be fun. So not much in this pack. We get an Alex Smith, but nah. Let's go from the back on this one. There's that Cleveland Browns stadium. Let's go from the back. See if we can get some good luck here. And Quinton Carter. Damn. If we get a second one, though. Eh, not really anything special. Another defensive tackle. All right, Cordero Patterson. He could be decent for like a kick returner, possibly. Not really sure that he's going to start for us. And Elvis Doomerville. All right, so we got another pass rusher here. That's not too bad. We can definitely, uh, we can definitely make use of Elvis Doomerville for our team. There's, there's no doubt about that. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what he looks like in comparison to what I currently have at left outside linebacker. Yeah, so we had Anthony Hitchens. We opened him earlier. Um, but yeah, Elvis Doomerville is definitely going to be a better overall player. Although it's kind of funny because look at some of these attributes here. Anthony Hitchens definitely way faster. I was kind of, I'm kind of surprised by that actually. Elvis Doomerville is not super slow. Um, but that play recognition, the pursuit... Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting because uh, this is, I mean, Elvis Doomerville is definitely a player that you would expect to be playing like a pass rusher out of that left outside linebacker position. So if I'm going to run a 34, he's probably, or a 3-4, I know people like to correct me on that, but whatever. Um, he's definitely a pass rusher, and yeah, Anthony Hitchens, not much of a pass rusher. So that's really what it's going to come down to. It really depends on the defense that I'm running and what I decide to do. So I'm going to have to think about it. I'm going to have to look at what I've got after this whole pack opening and decide what we want to do as far as which defense. Defense, but um, I'm, I mean, I'm certainly leaning towards the the 3-4 defense right now, just given the fact that Elvis Doomerville is going to be a beast coming off the edge with that 97 finesse move. That's going to be pretty de decent for us. Hopefully, he can get after the quarterback with that. Let's see what else we get here. Anything? Nothing of real value. All right, let's continue on. I don't even know where we're at right now with packs. I wish there was like a little indicator. Maybe there is somewhere and I'm not aware of it. Maybe you have to back out like you did last year to see, but we're just going to keep on rolling through, man. Just going to keep on rolling through. And finally, our gold, Mike Vick. Mike Vick, yes. Now, if, now we're talking about mobile quarterbacks. Here we go, man. We're talking about a mobile quarterback here. 85, well, 85 speed isn't as, as fast as I was expecting, but um, definitely still going to be faster than your Cutler, faster than your Alex Smith. He's got a huge arm, clearly, 92 deep. 
um, or 92 throw power. Not as good as Cutler, obviously, but that throw accuracy deep is substantially better. Or not substantially, a little bit better. Um, but he's, he's, I don't know, the throw on the run is substantially better, at least. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? Should I go with Vic? Would you guys rather see Mike Vic? Or would you guys rather see Jay Cutler? What, what do you want to see? Or would you rather see bum-ass Alex Smith? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm kind of leaning towards Cutler right now and see what... Uh, or maybe I'll just look and see which one is selling for more. And I'll sell... All right, guys. So the video that I recorded was actually the full 40-pack bundle, which, as you can probably imagine, given the fact that this current portion of the video is 15 minutes long... Yeah, it's about a 35 minute video if you combine the two pieces. So I decided to actually chop these into two portions. What I'm gonna do is leave a link to the other video right here. So if you guys are interested in watching the second half of the pack opening or of the bundle opening, excuse me, go ahead and click on the video on your screen right now. I will also leave a link to it in the description below so that you can have e easy access to that video. So with that being said, guys, go over there, check that one out. And and I'll see you guys over there in the second half of the video. Beast stuff in that second half too, guys. See you there.